a orange one here, so uh, we managed to get back to base. Um, I decided to not really include it because I spent a ton of time end up um, butchering a ton of the cow corpses, and that took a ton of time, and I figured, well, I'm not going to make you watch that, so, you know, we'll just cut that out. In the end, I was able to just kind of slowly walk slash run to my car and get in it just in time. Um, the devourer was pretty close. The other guys were not that close. And then once I was in my car, it was safe. I've got so many guns and bullets in there. It's like totally fine. Um, and yeah, then I also had to like grab my gear. I don't think I've repaired my gear though. So I might do that a little bit this episode. Um, and I did do, I believe a little bit work on the base as well. Um, I don't think... Yeah, last time that you guys were here, I don't think we had the water pump built, so we have that now, which is kind of cool. Um, there's another couple things that we've got in here that are kind of new that I want to show off. Um, there is a radio tower and console, which I'm currently working towards. Um, that's really going to be what I'm trying to do uh, today, I think, is trying to get that built. Uh, there's a couple of various little projects that we've got, though. The one that item that I'm not sure about is the large LCD screen. I've not ever seen that before. Everything else I can get, and I can actually get pretty easily. And I think I might even have the solar panels right now. Um, and I think I could make the large wind turbine. In any case, that's what we're going to do soon. Um, I did make a little bit more cattle serum. And I was reading up about mutations and stuff, and it sounds like Harvey, we don't want to be giving anything besides cattle um, serum if we want them to turn into a cow person. Because the more of the other stuff we give them, the harder it's going to be to turn them into this cattle person. So um, I had collected stuff for head bumps and his stubby tail. Oh, how cute. <laughs> um... So that's actually kind of cool. So if I look at you and I go to, I think it's N now, right? Yeah, N. So you're, you got your head bumps there and the stubby tail. That's awesome. So if I get like um, another cattle mutagen serum, that might be enough to push you over the, um, the bump. Because you actually do have a fair amount of traits that are characteristics of the cow people it's really hard to get enough large stomachs so like i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do that without cheating <laughs> like honestly i'm i'm getting kind of close to that point um i think i could be wrong but turbine um large wind turbine i think we can make one of those um, I thought I had uh, an engine, though, that I brought over here, or a motor. Large electric motor. I'm just curious as to what that does for this crafting recipe, because I'm pretty sure this is how you recruit NPCs. So I have a large electric motor. I'm not seeing it on there at all. There's small electric motors and tiny electric motors, um, which I think I could probably make. Um, yeah, I think we're going to want to make a large wind turbine or just grab some solar panels. I'm, I'm curious if we have solar panels just in the car, because I suspect that we do. Uh, oh, we do actually have one small electric motor, but, um, actually I think that's what I needed. That's perfect. Uh, and then we wanted the, the turbine, right? So that's going to need um, some wood, metal sheets, uh, oh, actually a large a large motor. That's actually one of the things that we... Oh, perfect. Cool. So I think we should be able to make the large turbine given that engine that we already have. Um, I'm not really sure. Also, I think I was collecting the rags because I wanted to make another leg ammo pouch. Um, I do have the right magazines here. And I ended up putting two... Um, I thought I had two of them in there. Strange. 
maybe I reloaded it or something. Because, yeah, I, I have two in there. I got another one in there. So that's three total. And you can actually, if you look at this, I was looking at this a little bit. Um, the ammo pouches. You could have another am leg ammo pouch, which gives you another two storage. And then you could have, this gives lets you store uh, rounds. But I think this one is magazines. Yeah, so this is going to hold a single large magazine. Um, so you could have that on your waist. You could have these two things on your le legs. You could have um, two things on your ankles. So there's one, two on your ankles. Another one on your waist. Another one on your chest. So I think that's a total of four. Plus another four on your legs. So you could carry eight magazines. Potentially. And I think you might be able to even get more if you make a tack uh, vest or a chest rig. If you go to like the tack vest, actually that by itself lets you store four items. So yeah, you could just have an absurd amount of magazines. I don't think we're going to go <laughs> and get like 20 magazines and carry them with us. That seems a bit excessive. But I could be, I don't know. Well, it's something to think about. Um, let's see, if I wanted to build that large turbine right here, what's missing? I've got the motor, I've got the... Okay, so I need pipes, planks, and sheet metal. I think I can get all of that. Um, just across the street. Do I have my toolbox with me? I do not. We will get the leg... Uh, drop pouches i'm pretty sure that's something that i want to do i'm gonna you know work on the base a little bit with you guys with me is essentially the plan um let's see toolbox oh there's this one show i know Urst, you tend to not uh watch the shows that i recommend but this i i've been watching a lot recently and i've been pretty excited about it and i want to talk to you about it i thought you might find it kind of interesting at the very least oh also i have a smoking rack down here i forgot to mention that um, there's wood panels here. I'm just going to pick up the nails for now. And, okay, so we do have four planks there. Okay, so I'm going to, yeah, deconstruct. I'll tell you a little bit about that show. Um, yeah, there's this thing that my, my brother told me to check out. Uh, no, I want to, yes, that's what I wanted to do. And it's called Midnight Gospel, and it's basically this dude it, uh, jump between simulated universes, interviewing the like um, the characters that live in these worlds, and um, put, uploading them to the internet. Like the multi, I think he calls it the multiverse. He like uploads to the multiverse or something like that. And it's basically he's got like one subscriber, so it's like this crazy, weird, trippy adventure. Well, this dude's like in like the ultimate video game, you know. And um, okay, we got eleven planks there. Yeah, we're gonna need a fair amount more. We have to do a couple trips back and forth. But yeah, it's just it's very very similar to Rick and Morty. So if you like that show, you'll like this. It's very similar with the worlds that they go to, and just like the grossness and like the surprise like genitalia <laughs> that they show you i don't know you know like with rick and morty if you've ever seen that show there's it, in case you're unaware there's tons of genitals like hidden throughout that show not very not hidden very hard either they're pretty easy to find <laughs> um flashlight i think we're gonna need to keep the flashlight on Um, because we're going to need to keep on doing work. So I'm just going to, um, reload. Oh, actually, what's this? My gun needed that. Okay. Um, I want the flashlight reloaded. And I was thinking of the disposable ones, but it looks like we've actually used up all of our disposable ones. I'll keep the disposable one in our inventory, though. Yeah, so we need planks. Uh, sheet metal is going to be the hard one, I think, for us. Because we're going to be able to get the planks here. Like, 
I'm very confident of that. But yeah, the super weird thing about that Midnight show, the uh, Midnight Gospel, it's on Netflix, by the way, is that um, it's like they're having like weird, intense conversations um, while the craziest things are going on in the background. And I can't keep track of both. I've tried super hard. But like they'll like the first episode is basically them having a conversation about drugs and drug use and abuse and addiction and all of that while a zombie apocalypse is happening and like they're just talking about stuff. Oh, I'm I'm dizzy and falling over. Is that because I'm so tired? I think that might be because I'm so tired that like I can't stand. You feel dizzy for a moment. You stand up. What's going on? Um, it's not the irradiation, is it? Is the chilliness? Is are we so cold that um, we're starting to like fall over? I don't think that's what's going on. Yeah, our character—they've been struggling health-wise for a little bit. I'm not sure exactly why, but they—they've been falling over like this. Um, I'm wondering if they have like a parasite or something. I'll, I might debug just to find out. Um, but let's just have a look at our Geiger counter. Isn't that how you spell Geiger? I like you can't even stand up. What's going on? There's our Geiger counter. Um, I heard something about how they wanted to hide um, your radiation from you. So I have 26 MSVs. I don't think that's particularly bad, but I don't know. I think it's our dehydration that's making us dizzy. Uh, let's get water purifier and also a jug. Um, our destination is full. It's east of us. Can I grab the jug? Don't just go grabbing jugs, guys. That's not, not a good look. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're falling over because we're, like, completely out of water. So what we're gonna do is... Because I haven't been... We've been dehydrated like this for a while, and I haven't <clears throat> been addressing it. Uh, water purifier. Go ahead, activate it on this, and then I'm just gonna down me some water. Yeah, we're, like, super dehydrated. Yeah, we'll just... We'll just kind of maybe hang out. I think that we're probably going to end up puking. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Whatever it is, we're getting knocked to the ground a lot. Um, I suppose we could do some crafting while it's happening. I just kind of want to keep an eye on things. It says my painkiller's dose is really high. Um, oh, is it my sensory doling CBM? Guys, I think it's my sensory dueling CBM. I think that's why I'm falling over my face. I think that might be what's going on. Is that we have uh, painkiller effects that are super high. Um, what were we trying to... We were trying to look at the large tur wind turbine, right? That's That was our mission. Before I started pass like falling all over the place. Well, now I won't know um, exactly why we stop falling, if it's the painkillers or what. But actually, we're still like totally falling all over ourselves. Let's just go to sleep and see if that fixes the issue. Because I think that we might be falling all over ourselves because, you know... Um, Let's also maybe turn off the camera system. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to see anything. I am going to do a little quick save because if um, my cows all get killed right now, I'm, I'm going to reload that. That would not be cool. Oh, our flashlight's on. Yeah, go ahead, turn that off. And um, yeah, let's try and sleep. I mean, now that I've got the upgraded processor, the sleeping doesn't take that long.
And I'm pretty sure that if we take care of our needs, because I think once you get into the red here, that's when you start getting those weird um, effects. Oh yeah, we still are getting bird-like dreams ourselves. Yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on me um, just deb debugging some cattle mutagen, because in my head, you should be able to use the milk for the cattle mutagen, you know? Like, the all the other mutagen, besides alpha mutagen, is not that hard to make and get more of. Yeah, I need to uh, attend to our needs a little bit, because apparently we're questioning if toxic gas is food. Um, let's just have a look. Yep, everybody seems to be fine. They're all taking their naps, actually. Um, sorry, uh, Harvey, wake up. Let's go. And then I'm actually curious if I talk to you, um, Harvey, how are your needs? You're thirst. You're thirsty. Okay, so you're very thirsty. Are you automatically eating things? Because, um... I think they might be automatically eating things from here, but I don't want them dying of dehydration. Yeah, like you're you're not hungry. And if I look at you, yeah, it looks like they're all not hungry, but they're all still thirsty. So I've got an idea here. Um, I noticed something with the food was I was having an issue of um, if I put a container in the auto drink or auto eat then um, the container gets used up in a sense. But I was dumping water there and then distributing it and it was fine. Um, so if I try and distribute that, yeah, okay, so it looks like it did take the water. So if I look at your thirst, I bet it's still the same though, yeah. So I think I might have to address the thirst uh, 1v1. I'm just gonna put water in the gallon jug, and I don't think these guys can get parasites. <laughs> so we're just gonna give them this water. Um, let's see, where did, where's the button? F, and then what's the water? It's P. So F and P, until he doesn't let me. Yeah, until, yep, yeah, so now he's, he should be fully hydrated. Um, if I put, I'm just curious, if I put the uh, water here and then designate that as an auto drink, um, I'm going to edit that position so it includes these two. If I have that as the auto drink, will they just get that water from there? What if they're assigned to this place? Like if I talk to Tasia and I say, hey, um, let's talk about your current activity. Um, let's see. No, I want to say carry on. Are you are you with me right now, Tasia? Still? Yes, you are. How do I assign you to the camp? I want you to assign you to work at this camp. This, uh, sure. Let's see you around. I'm just curious if she tries to get some water. Because we have this water here. Or is the auto eat and the auto drink, is that for me? Does that not work for NPC companions? Okay, it looks like she's um, sorting things out. She's like putting some items in different places for me, actually. Um, and I think she actually uses calories that are stored in here to do so. So if I want to look at my stored food, how much do I have? 60,852. Um, but it looks like she's done sword thing, sorting things out. I should have checked that before she, she did that. Um, it does not look like they are drinking, though, this water. So we're going to have to continue to spoon feed them. Harvey... Um, and then I think it was what F, and then it was P. It still is. Nice. Or no, it's not. Now it's N. Now it's P. Now it's N. Okay, never mind. It's good now. I just don't want these guys... Um, hold on. I don't want them dying of dehydration. 
you know. I wish they would auto drink from this uh this little faucet. And then I think Tasia also needed some, right? Yeah, why don't we tell you to come with me and then I can be like, hey, why don't you use this item? And then N. Oh, hold on. Yeah, it's kind of weird how it's alternating like that. Okay, so they should all be properly hydrated now, basically. And I'm going to just uh, top up our water and purify it a little bit. Just to give myself a little bit extra. Because I don't want to get dehydrated again. That was not good. So we were hydrated. And it doesn't look to me like we're falling around anymore. So I think, yeah, we were like collapsing from lack of sleep and dehydration. Which is good to know. Um, also something that would be good to know is can I plant things yet? No, it's too cold still. Man, with the longer year turned on, it takes forever for you to get to the growing season. Um, I think we needed more planks. I think we needed one more batch of planks from here, right? And then we need to get some sheet metal. So if I look here, small sheet metal, there's some there. Small sheet metal, there's actual proper sheet metal, which you can then turn into small sheet metal. So I think we're actually okay off of that then. Um, I think I just need the planks now. I think I need like... 10-ish planks. So like these these three tables should be more than enough, basically. Well, I'm very grateful for uh, having this little place just across from our evac shelter. It makes this actually pretty easy um, in terms of, you know, getting the materials for making a little radio tower. Because it used to be that you could just send a companion out and that they would go looking for survivors. I like the idea that we're actually using a tower. Um, and I'm interested to see how they incorporate the radios. Because I know you can radio back to your base and tell people to do things. It's kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> does that actually already have the... Am I... Are, what, why am I getting planks? Am I just completely insane? Oh, was that for the turbine? The planks, they were for the turbine, weren't they? Yes, the planks were for the turbine. So I need some soldering iron and small metal sheets and pipes. I think I have everything besides maybe the pipes. I'm not sure. I mean, I just need to disassemble one of these guys. I know it's kind of crazy if you think about it because we've gotten to the point where we um we have like mutant humans and I am like oh let's build a turbine <laughs> you know <laughs> that's how I'm spending my time um I was also thinking about going off doing some combat if you want to see us doing more fighting let me know I'm just kind of personally into the base building I know Nosh is probably going a little bit crazy though Going to go run off and kill things. Um, what was I, I? I was I was getting a turbine. I needed this disassembled, and I think I needed like some solder or something. And yeah, fourteen pipes. I don't think we're gonna get the fourteen pipes. Um, not from here, at least. We'll have to go somewhere else to get the 14 pipes. Oh, you know what might actually have the pipes? The cars might have the pipes in them. Um, and does this have any... Oh, there's the electric motor right there if we needed it. I want to say that like car seats have pipes in them. And they also have, I think, fabric in them. I'm also just kind of curious as to what this is that's in this... Yeah, it's just a wheel and a scissor jack. Okay. Um, let's have a look at the seat and seat belt. If I want to disassemble that, uh, I only get four pipes. How many did I need? I needed quite a few. If I want to disassemble 
Um, yeah, it's going to take me 10 minutes per seat. I think we want to do that. Oh, we got the four pipes. Nice. I'm not sure what else gives you um, pipes. But I know that seats definitely do. But I'm also looking at these seats and they're all damaged. So we have to keep that in mind as well. They were probably going to get less out from them. Uh, if I want to disassemble the seats now, will it let me? It will. Maybe I should be doing that in the light. I don't know if doing this in the dark actually uh, makes you less likely to be successful with your disassemblies. Okay, let's see um, 11 pipes. We did need more than that. I will also grab the short ropes because those are pretty useful things to have. Actually, I'm going to take all of it. All of that's really good stuff to have. And then I'm just going to dump that all down. Um, and this disposable battery is basically worthless. I, I should not be putting that down. I should just be using it. Um, yeah, let's see. I think there was maybe some... Yeah, there's another card here. I had a suspicion that there might be something around here somewhere. Um, and then I think just from this seat, we should get what we needed. I think we needed 16 and we had 11. So maybe between these two, actually, we'll get enough. We're actually getting very hungry now. We'll have to deal with that soon. I just kind of want to be done with this. Okay, we only got three of the pipes. So we're going to need... Uh, maybe to do both these seats. I think we should just take both of them off. And I'm sure there's other car parts that give you pipes. I just am unsure about what they are. <laughs> Hmm. Nosh is talking to himself. Great. Um, I think we have enough pipes now. Daryl Hensley. Man, that is a cool name. That sounds like a... like a drink. Doesn't it? Am I just... Yeah, I don't know. Because I don't drink, like, hard alcohol that much. I don't know what it would be called. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll put all these away. And then I'm actually going to reload that flashlight because I think we're going to need it on for the crafting. But if we then go to the turbine... Oh my gosh, come on. Soldering iron and solder. We can do that. I can do that before the episode ends. Is that a real one? No. I had a feeling that pigeon was not actually real. Because there's, like, no pigeons around here. Um, we were looking for solder. Sure. It's good. It's a good thing I actually have a proper soldering iron. Because, remember, I uh, ended up changing that out from... Um, oh, this is going to take five hours. Oh, my goodness. Let's go ahead and start crafting it, and we'll we'll finish it <laughs> probably off camera. I'm not sure. That's oh, we'll we'll keep you with us. That's fine. I should be crafting it in here. We've got light in here. Uh, flashlight. Just get one of these bad boys. Disposable one. I know I should just be tossing it. I'll deal with it. Just not right now. Um, and then work on craft. Sure. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for this base. Once we have a radio, we can get even more NPCs. But it's kind of like a circular logic where I'm like, I want more NPCs so they can craft me th things for me, but NPCs can't craft things yet. So it's like a chicken versus before the egg kind of situation, kind of. Um, yeah. I mean, I would really like it so these guys could... Um, just make make weapons for me, you know, so Nosh can go off and fight, and then I don't have to do any of that. Okay, so we have a large wind turbine. 
That is, that's awesome. Um, so what about that radio tower then? Um, one large wind turbine, storage battery pipes. Yeah, the steel frame is super easy. Electronic scrap, I think I could probably pull that out of this car just by taking out like something that's damaged, like that security system. Right, isn't that gonna be? No, no electronic scrap. Okay, what if I take out the stereo system? I bet I can disassemble that, right? Yeah, it's seven electronic scrap right there. That's absolutely perfect, actually. And then I wanted a steel frame as well, so I'll take I'll take that. <laughs> Thank you. And it was the stereo system that we needed to disassemble, right? Can I? I think we can do that actually in the base. I might want to do that. Oh yeah, also you maybe have noticed that this atomic light is not really working. I don't really know why. Um, but yeah, it's not it's not making our, our base bright anymore for some reason. Which is fine. It's not like a big deal, actually. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to disassemble something, so I do actually need light. I thought I just reloaded this thing. I bet I did, it's just got such small batteries. Oh, did I just smash at Tasia? I'm sorry, Tasia. Uh, flashlight. Again, close this door. I turned Tasia off of the closing the doors, and now I regret it because I was having them run with me. And I'm like, no, that completely is unnecessary. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.